think it's good for both of us. I mean, you know, we're all after pre-season hit-outs where you can keep improving the team and keep seeing what areas are doing well and what you're not. You know, I think it's great for Townsville to get an early look at a team like Perth and you know, the talent they have. And, uh, you know, I urge fans to get out and see some of these guys. You know, James in this. You know, I think he's uh, someone that the league hasn't seen for quite a few years. Um, but, you know, for me personally, it's a great effort. I mean, one thing you know Perth always brings is incredible intensity, and that hasn't changed since Trev taken over. So, you know, it's a good test for our guys to, to really find out where we are and what we need to, where we need to go from here. Well, I guess, I guess, you know, a new coach, though, brings in new systems. So, I mean, I might know some of them individually, but there are actually quite a few changes. Um, so, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a pre-season game. I mean, our main focus is to continue to improve on our systems and, you know, we take away what we got out last week at the Blitz and now we need to see if we can apply it and what happens uh, against a quality team. Can you notice No. I haven't even really thought about that way, to be honest. You guys are the first to bring it up. <laughs> I guess in general, all boys have changed Yeah, um, Greg and um, Stevie missed practice yesterday with, with a bit of illness, but you know, we, we, we'll be looking to have everybody suit up, um, you know, with the exception of PC, of course. But you know, we're treating it like a normal game. For us, we're, you know, we're pretty much a new team, new coach, new, quite a few new players. We need to approach each game like it's a normal game and we'll play that way. I mean, We've got to get better at what we do, so there's no sense you know, arresting people or anything like that, uh, unless there's a, you know, it's a detriment to their own personal safety. But it's not that way, so we'll be, we'll be working hard and trying to do the best we can. Are you wanting to see improvement start? Start seeing some of these things Yeah, well, look, we saw it over the week at the Blitz. You know, from from where we were against Sydney to to where we finished um, was great improvement. You know, now we can come up against another quality team, and then we've got another quality team on Sunday. So. It's, you would hope that you keep seeing improvements. You know, we had a good video session this morning where the players get to watch you know, the good and the bad, and you, you hope that that sends messages home. You come out and we had a pretty good tra training session where we saw improvements on the area, areas we uh, focused on. Now we get to do it against an opposition uh, where you're not too sure how they're, going, what, how they're going to defend things or how they're going to attack your defence, and yeah, that gives us more opportunity to improve down the track. Just a personal note, your first coaching brother of the town yeah, and that's exciting. You know, it's been exciting the whole thing coming to Townsville. You know, 23 years since I last lived here, and it's amazing to see the amount of people that are still involved that were involved back then. And so now, it's, you know, I, I hope the Townsville crowd come out because I think they'll see a team that, you know, the one thing I do know is we'll, we'll compete hard, and you know, that's all you can ask of your team. And I think that's that's a good thing for the fans to watch is when you compete hard and, and then they know you're wearing your, your green singlet with pride. Up to sleep, or do you think you've never the same nah, I, you know, I'm a believer in, um, you know, I, I, I'd rather put everything on the table now, find out how people are going to go against it, and then we can learn to counter it. I, I think you can get buried down with putting too much stuff in, particularly when you're a new team. It's, it's important for us to do what we do great, and, and that's what we're focusing on. We're not going to be throwing in all this new stuff in the next couple of weeks. We've got to get good at what we do. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a coach. What happened? Well, it happens a couple of times. You didn't have film one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that was real. That was real. Yeah, that was all right. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to Red Bull. Depends on a Monday. Monday, they're a little bit shady. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. There you are. Cool, guys. No, obviously, being up here, perhaps the Tigers got it. Strange being in Perth colours this time. Oh, probably not strange, but strange being back here. It's a fantastic facility. It's the first time I've been in here. Uh, really looking forward to the game tomorrow night. Um, you know, we've got to have a little bit of a look at the Crocs down at the in Sydney in the Blitz. So Sean's gone on playing a good brand of basketball. They play hard and play unselfish, and they've got, uh, they've got their roles identified. So um, they're going to be a good u unit this year. Oh, I was trying to get back into the league, I guess, after what happened in Melbourne. But uh, look, everything's worked out for a reason. I was available and, and the Perth gig was open, so it kind of worked in well. Uh, family's well, health-wise, so it was, a, it was a good adventure for us to go over there and see if we can uh, get that elusive ring. When you were here, you always said that you hated Perth so much. <laughs> that that's so on the back foot now? Well, I haven't played a home game in Perth yet, but I used to cop a flogging over there. And I think uh, with Corey running around with the shirt and me getting tossed out of there one game, so 
Um, I think I have to get some runs on the board over there before they uh, embrace me. I hope so. Look, I had five uh, great years here. You know, we built something up pretty strong, and uh, it's been sad to see what's happened in the last 12 or 18 months uh, with the Crocs, and hopefully the the um, community can support it because it's a fantastic product, and you've got some uh, people that are very passionate about the game. So uh, hopefully they'll come out tonight and support, and they can even boo me if they want, but hopefully not. <laughs> Oh, without a question, you know, the, the Crocodiles brand has been very strong for over 20 years in the NBL and uh, hopefully that's just a little hiccup. Um, they can build it up uh, bigger than anything, but look, I was quite impressed with, with the team that was playing down in uh, Sydney. Uh, Sean's doing a fantastic job um, and we're going to have our uh, work cut out tomorrow night. They're sort of rated as... Least favourites for the for the title. <laughs> 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 I figure I was going to say yeah, but the long odds, the longest odds to win the title. So what do you sort of make it? Well, that that happened every time? year. Yeah. I think we were never ever tipped to make the finals, and we made five years in a row. So it's uh, the people outside of Melbourne and Sydney have got no idea what happens in the regional areas. But the, the the key thing is in professional sports, especially basketball, is having five guys playing together and playing hard, and and that's a tradition crocodiles have had a long time, and I think they're going to. Uh, you know, embrace that philosophy and go on. Yeah, we're still finding our, our feet. We've got, uh, um, you know, five new guys in the roster and a couple of guys are injured, so we're, we're still pushing buttons to find out what works for us. But, uh, you know, it's the same uh, intensity, sharing the ball, playing unselfish basketball and, and uh, being honest out there. So hopefully we can crack the whip early. Oh, look, yeah, they, they had some success doing uh, full court presses and, and running. We probably play a little bit more um, in the system in offence. We want to make sure we get the ball to the right people at the right time in the right positions. And we want our best players shining. You know, similar to when we had Corey, we wanted him to shine. And when we had Luke Schenzer in um, Towns, we wanted them to shine. So what, what we try to do is uh, make our stars shine and everyone support that. I just made no... No secret of the fact he wants a championship this year. How do you feel about that? How's I won a championship too. Years? You know, there's eight teams won a championship, so we've got to work our ring off to uh, get it done. Is there any extra pressure on you? I think the only pressure is uh, after you've been in the league a couple of times and what happened at Melbourne, I think the only pressure is you put on yourself. If you're not doing your job, if you're worrying about your job, you're not doing your job. So uh, we'll certainly stay in the present and make sure that we're doing the day, job every day. It's about winning over the fans, winning the pre-season list. Is that in the right direction, you reckon they love you? Yeah, look, that was a surprise. We didn't think we'd go with a couple of good games, especially with our centre, uh, Matty Knight out. So uh, but the guys are playing good. They're, they're embracing our new system. So uh, hopefully we can get another crack at it tonight, uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, Drake, uh, you, you won't play in uh, that night. Who's going to take it out tomorrow night? I don't know, what's on offer? Is it free hamburgers at McDonald's? Is George involved? If George is involved, I could be, we're going after it, you know, but uh, no, I think it's going to be a great game. And uh, Come and see the, the teams early. I don't think we get here until February or January uh, next year, so if they want to come out and see some uh, players, hopefully we still got the same team in January, but uh, uh, James doesn't go too well. <laughs>